All right, well, welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Hardcore Mod. We're going to have a lot of fun today. I'm excited to get in here, play some Hardcore Mod. Um, I want to thank everybody who has been commenting on YouTube and following on YouTube. I really appreciate it. Um, I've had some great support through YouTube. Um, I've tried to answer any questions you guys have. Um, I can't get to all the questions, but I tried to answer as much as I could. Um, nothing that I can think of at the moment that I wanted to bring up but if I think of anything I will uh, I'll let you know uh, we just got through uh, Cosmo Canyon so now we should be heading over to um, Nibelheim or Nibelheim or Nebelwartz whatever whatever your pronunciation is um, can't offer to upgrade my subscription for Digimon after Final Fantasy 7 Hardcore Mod next week, so maybe I could donate for that. Yeah, I'd be down. By the way, I had a story about Digimon. Uh, so, for those of you that were here on uh, Tuesday, on Tuesday we do Trophy Quest, where we, um, hold on, is there anything to do here? I, that's what it says. No. Yeah. Uh, I think I can play... Well, I can play the piano here, but it doesn't... All I need to do is, uh... All I need to do is jam, I think. Just as long as I play it. If I play the, um... If I play the Final Fantasy VII theme, I get, like, one gill. You know what? I might as well. Why not? I don't remember how it goes though. Do, 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 do. Gotta watch my own video. So, anyways, while I'm looking this up, uh, on Mondays and Tuesdays we do trophy quest where um, we work on platinum trophies and um, oh god what's L1 not that that's that Wait, wait, where am I playing the... <laughs> He's not even at the piano. He's like playing the carpet. What are you doing, Cloud? Alright, anyways. Um, so, uh, the next game we're doing for the trophy quest is Digimon uh, New Order. Or Next Order. And, uh... I got time to go get Vincent. I should say it before doing that. I'm gonna die a horrible death. Um, Mendo donated for that and he wanted to see it this week and so I went on the PSN store to try to buy it digitally so we could play it right away so we could play it for him um, you know before next week and um, I found out that it was uh, $60 still on the PSN store and I told him you know what we're going to hold off um, because I can go to GameStop and get it used for probably like you know 50 or something uh, and save some money, and I'll get a physical copy. There's no re I, I, I see no reason to pay $60 for a digital version unless you get some kind of digital bonus, like if you pre-order it or whatever. Um, but I'm not going to pay $60 for just a digital version. So, um, I went to GameStop, and uh, it's a good thing that I waited, because not only did I get it, uh, you know, cheaper, uh, they were having a sale, so I got not a used version for $50, but a new version for thirty dollars. So uh, we have it. I have it sitting right here. <laughs> I got this brand new for thirty dollars, and I got the physical copy. Whereas if I would have bought it Tuesday, I would have gotten it um, for sixty dollars and no physical copy. So uh, it was definitely worth it to wait. I'm glad I waited. Do you ever consider getting the Best Buy's Gamers Club? Nah, I don't really like to buy my games from Best Buy. 
Um, I don't necessarily like love GameStop either, but uh, the, the Edge card always seems to save me a lot of money. And I'm a person that doesn't mind buying used, so I end up spending like a lot less money at GameStop because of the Edge card and uh, buying used. Um, yeah, now I can give you a refund. I could if you wanted. But that's kind of where I like, that's kind of where the support comes. I have everybody pay like what the game is currently, but then later if it goes on sale, I can make a little money that way and it helps out the stream. But if anyone was like actually like paid $60 for me to buy the game and then it was like way cheaper, I wouldn't mind getting a refund if that's what they donated for. Uh, do I remember the code? 30, does it give me, is it giving me less time? Or is it always 20 seconds? Let's see, it's 36, five, I don't remember. See, this is the kind of things that I always forget. Oops. 36, 10, 59, 97, okay. I did 56. Whoops. So, is this guy just gonna kill me or what? So, <laughs> am I gonna die a horrible death or what? Oh! Oh yeah. Yep. This is not... This is not, uh, ideal. Our third team just got one shot into oblivion. Don't think I can play this. I don't think I can fight this guy yet. Don't think this is the time to be fighting this guy. But yeah, um... I, I prefer GameStop, I guess. I, actually, lately, GameStop's been really good. If you go into a GameStop recently, like the one near me, they got all sorts of cool stuff in there now. They got like figurines and like shirts and like they're really trying to like expand into not just being like that used game store that gives you no money for games. Like they're trying to make it, trying to expand and make it better. I, I, I personally have enjoyed most of the deal. I, I went to GameStop the other day and they were having some, uh, some like sale where if you had their car if you had the edge card you could get like all sorts of crazy deals and I bought some stuff and then I went Tuesday and they're having that sale that I talked to you about that that, that I got Digimon for 30 bucks so um, yeah it's uh, they've been doing some cool stuff recently I'm gonna try with sadness and just see if I can even survive an attack if I can't survive an attack then there's no way I can do this like I don't there's nothing else I can really equip for, like, armor, so I'm just gonna have to come back. If he's still one-shotting everyone, there's not much I can do about that. What's up, Zero Razor? Um... Oops. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think we're gonna be able to get Vincent yet, but... I will give it the old college try. Surprised mod makers didn't change the combo. I don't know how easy it is to change the combo. Oh, well, cloud survive. something that actually does a lot of damage. This guy probably has an incredible amount of health as well, so between mapping the cast of Kira every single time he attacks and trying to do damage to him, it's probably not going to be good. Plus, once he gets into his second form, I'm pretty sure he's going to be one-shotting people anyways. 
so this probably isn't going to go too well. If he can still be poisoned, I might have a chance. I could poison him and then just play it as safe as possible. I can also guard with Cloud, which might help. How did you miss? Is he immune or did you miss? Still one shot. Yeah, everyone's in the back row. Yeah, that's not going well. If I set it to wait, I might have a chance, but I, I still think once he gets to second, I'm going to be in trouble. Um, I don't know. Let me try... Um, Try wait. Um, you still have cover, right? Okay. If I can, uh, well, I think he's actually weak against Earth. At least he used to be. So that might be a thing. Yeah, I maybe I could try just for fun. What I wanted to do is give poison. He didn't have a weakness? I could have swore he had an earth weakness. Poison was always what I did. Poison always works well. Because he has a lot of health. Poison just kind of rips him apart. Poison would be a lot better. Um, I don't think this works if you pass it. Um, I don't think poison works. I don't know why the music stopped. That was weird. Wait, no, with a subscription! Oh god, there it goes again. What in the world? <laughs> is, it, is it done? There it goes. That was weird. Anyways, wait, no, thank you so much for the subscription, man. Appreciate that a lot. Welcome to the 4-8 crew! Cloud just subscribed. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. And I love ya. Thank you so much, man. I did 96. What am I doing? <laughs> Hashtag with Noom doesn't suck. Alright. The thing, the thing with Putting the game to wait, though, is that poison isn't as good. Um, and that's kind of a problem. Nice. Defended and then dodged. So my goal is to have like Yuffie as just a cure bot, and then uh, I'm slow as well. See, the thing with playing under weight is that I'm pretty much guaranteeing that each of my characters will at least get a turn. So as long as I just cure with one person, attack with another person, and then do whatever it is I want to with the third, like. Which I'm guessing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna be blocking with Cloud, I think. Try to negate some damage. So I'm gonna cure with Yuffie and then defend with Cloud. Just 
poison isn't working out too well. Someone said use question mark, question mark, question mark with cloud. Oh! Cloud's got like four health. <laughs> Sasha, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that a lot. And also Ram Games and Verusius. Thanks, guys. This poison ain't working out. He might be immune to poison. Well, I, if he was immune. Wow. He got a crit. That's unfortunate. Cloud was defending there and still died because he got a crit. Um, if he was immune to poison, then it wouldn't be doing any damage. So, but they might have lowered the chance or something. What's up, relaxed kid? Okay, 656. That's pretty dang good. So now we should be able to hopefully just... Uh, oh, God. That did so much damage. Oh, God, what is happening? That, okay. He just decided to get real mad and attack twice. jagged matic How's it going, man? Good to see ya. Long time to see Well, I'm out of Phoenix now, so... Yeah, he seemed to do more damage when he got poisoned. Does defend last until you make an action or until your ATB fart? Uh, Phil? I said fart fills um i if no it, it, you have to take another turn but i think there's a limit on how long it'll last also i don't know exactly but like if your atb f bill far if your atb bill fars if your atb fill bar fills uh you could still defend i know that for sure it doesn't like cancel your defend just because uh the ATB bar is full. I've been good, Dragon Amatic. Been fantastic. Glad you've been watching on YouTube. Sorry, work is uh, taking over your life, but that's a good thing as well. Got to make the money, you know. Actually, hold on. Forgot to move stuff. Uh. Give you sense. Oops. Oh yeah, it's true. That's part of the reason why he was doing more damage, because sadness disappeared. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of those where, like, if I if any of my characters die, I'm pretty much done for. <laughs> so I'm just going to need to have, like, a perfect... Perfect kind of... Fight. 
Wow, why did you attack again? What the heck? Sometimes he just like double attacks. Oh, I'm still on active. That's fine. Take that! Actually, can be darkness. Huh. Interesting. Too bad darkness uh, does literally nothing, unless they fixed it in this mod. But yeah, uh, giving enemies darkness in the original Final Fantasy VII doesn't do anything. They might have fixed it in the Steam version, though, or in this remake. Remake. In this mod. Uh, but I doubt it. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this again. But save this time. Magic Man! How's it going? This guy's even worse. Yeah, I think... Because this guy is usually pretty hard at this point, because you're underleveled, and I think for the hardcore mod, since really it's just a, like, boost on all the bosses, this guy is, like, above our level and then boosted even further. So that's why, uh... It's going to be really difficult for us to take them down now. But I'm going to give it a, a good college try before we move on. Um, I can always just go fight the Materia Keeper and then come back. That's usually a pretty good uh, level boost that will help us out. But. Oh, I forgot to set it on weight. Um... But yeah, just curious to see if I can even get him to, like, second phase. I think second phase is going to be Ripperoni, though. <laughs> Maybe if um, I had cover materia mastered, I'd have a chance. I could just sit there and guard with Cloud, but uh, without that, I, I don't think I have much of a snowball's chance. We'll see. I think with poison he will go into his physical form, but I could be wrong. If I just let poison take. Bio seems to have a terrible chance. I, I think he did lower the chance that Bio will work. Yo, Cerebron with the 1,000 bits! I don't know what's going on with the, uh, the music today. I mean, it's still playing. It's just, uh, having a little trouble with that little back again. It's really unfortunate. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits! Some foam fingers in the chat for that. Clear Tranquil up too, and they double attack. That's really unfortunate. Um, hold on, let me read this. To the lost number for hiding in a safe and giving out free game over screens. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Appreciate that a lot, man. You're the bomb. I'm gonna try. It. Oh my god. Did actually Someone needs to throw a tranquilizer on Cloud, or else he's just gonna keep dying.
See, that's what I was thinking, Gordo. I, I was thinking maybe if I let Poison Tick, he wouldn't transform. But I don't know how long it's gonna take with the Hardcore mod. He probably has, like, double HP. We might be here all day. <laughs> but, I mean, that might be the only way to beat him. Holy cow. Oh my god, he has so much health. <laughs> this dude has a lot of freaking health. Demi, that'll work, right? For sure. Well, let's see, he's got... He has 1,500 health, and he's ticking by like 600. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Um, but not that long, actually. 600 is a lot. If I could push him down just a little further. And then, uh, and then let Poison take down. Maybe I'd have a chance. Running low on speed. This might just be a a defend a defend type of day here. <laughs> just sit here and defend for a while. If I keep Cloud in defense... Oh god, here we go. Now, now the issues arise. Can we survive an attack? Oh, just barely. But I believe he was defending. So he... Oh god, that did 87 damage. Um, <laughs> I think he was defending and he still barely survived it. Yeah. Yep. Without defending, it's doing 2,000 damage. That's not... That's not the ideal. And I don't think I'm ever going to get him back up now. Because by the time I heal him and give him a tranquilizer and he defends, he's going to be dead. Alright, that's the stuff. <laughs> that's what I like to see. Well, how much health did he have? Would that say 6,000? I think the only way the only way this is gonna actually work is if I do it on active. Um, get the same setup on active, and then uh, Um, let poison take him down because with on active poison will absolutely rip him to shreds. Um, doing 600 damage on active, he's gonna be toast. And I can just sit there and heal, and the poison should take him down. But I gotta get there on active, which is gonna be a struggle. Or I could get big guard. I don't know if big guard would help enough. It would definitely help. I need 56 again. Or 96 again. Gotta use the cheese. Uh, can you 
just stop that for one moment. Slow really helps with uh, dealing with active. And so does clear train. That wasn't nice. That's, that's something that we don't want to have. Okay. Cloud forgot how to cover, I guess. Okay. Cloud's just done, I guess. <laughs> Cloud's just like, yeah, I'm not covered anymore. I mean, covering these, these losers for like four fights now. I'm done. You must. You must cover Cloud. Yo, Fox Magoo with the $5 donation. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Health and happiness to one and all except lost number. Thank you so much. Appreciate that a lot, man. Thank you, thank you. You the bomb. And uh, YFHJH8766 is now final. Thanks for following. Appreciate it a lot. Sorry I don't have follow alerts on. I just figured the song going off constantly during the uh, YouTube videos would be a little annoying. Um, I'm gonna re-put them back on once we're done with, uh, the mod. But for now, I'm just leaving them off. I figured, like, the song just going off consistently during the YouTube mod would be a little annoying. Uh... I forgot the combination. Still got it. Okay, redo. First try poison. Oh, I actually got it. Can't believe it. That was nice. Um, actually, go ahead. A little bit of damage going on here. What's up, Malachi? How's it going? Yeah, boss number is a uh, jerk. But usually, like when I was a kid, I never figured out the whole mansion thing, like the first time I got there. I had to come back later. And so, uh, okay. <laughs> um, when I came back later, I figured it out, and then Lost Number, I like one-shot him, so for me, Lost Number was never a hard boss, but it's just because I was too stupid to figure out the combination the first try. Alright, so I think we're going to go into full, full turtle mode here, and just let Poison rip him apart. Uh, I hope that heals at least 600. Oh god. I might have blown it. Okay. Lots of this. Cloud, you need, to, you need to cover here, buddy. You cannot cover that. Okay, you need to cover, buddy. Do your job. No! No double hit! Oh, come on. <laughs> Why do I get... Why do I get so trolled? Of all things to happen, why does he double hit Cloud? This is old. If he had, like, Thundara, I would have had a chance, but not. He has the Thundara. This is old. Uh... Oh my god, he was all the way down to 6,000? Okay, this is possible. <laughs> I almost beat him. 
And I didn't even survive that long, and I almost beat him. That's what I was talking about with, uh... With poison on active, it's insane. It does so much damage. I, like, I don't know why they... They programmed it this way, but... Holy crap, poison just rips people apart on active battle. Including you! If you're poisoned on active battle, good luck. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make sure that I keep slow on as well. Hey, yeah, that's okay, Malachi. Sorry to hear this thing's going on with your family. Hope everything is okay. Do not worry. The 48 Live death stream is always here for you whenever you need it. Whether or not you're busy or need to take a break, it'll always be here when you get back. Alright, we got this. How hyped is it going to be if I beat Lost Number on Hardcore Mod in active battle? without leveling up. Will that, will that not be the hypest thing you've ever seen in your life or what? Would be nice if I could get five. First try. Can you stop attacking Yuffie? That's three times in a row. Thanks. I was going to use her limit too, but I guess not. Wow. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes Lost Number is just like, eh, you're dead. See ya, Hyrule Chicken. Thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it, even if you can't watch a stream. If you stop by to say hey, appreciate it. Yeah, it's going to happen. When you're going against a level 55 enemy as level 26, it's going to happen sometimes where he just gets all the turns and kills you immediately. Like, if he gets a critical at any point, I'm in trouble. So, there's that as well. Although, I think Cloud is fine if he blocks a critical. Don't worry, Mendo, I will not forget. I was actually listing off the stuff I put on there earlier. You just went in there. Okay, see, this is where, <laughs> this is where problems happen. When he just literally decides, I'm gonna double attack Cloud and kill him immediately as the fight starts. That's, that's where things happen that are bad. That needs to not happen. That needs to not happen. Level up? Where's the fun in that? Saying death stream for nothing. What's up? Okay. Your laminator broke. Well, you didn't use it a ton. Alright. Hmm. Might be able to open it up and maybe fix it. Yo, what's up, R. Junio? Welcome, man. Hope 
hope you enjoy the stream. If you have any questions about my stream, feel free to let me know. Did I slow? I don't know if I did. <laughs> well, go buy a new one if you want. Or, I'm, I'm just said that because you're always the one to say try to fix it before buying it. So that's why I said Ow, oh, goodness sake. I just threw a phoenix down on him there because I don't know why. Oh, that's over. I threw the phoenix down on him. I hit right and yet it picked. Lost number. I don't know why. That was ripped anyways. My wife was talking to me. There's <laughs> only so much I can do at the same time. Monster looks curiously like Bugenhagen. A little bit. Well, he looks a little Bugenhagen ish. I don't know why I keep grabbing this. I'm trying to scram it afterwards. get HP plus a Cosmo Canyon? That is the idea. Um, that would mean I wouldn't have to rely on cover as much. I don't know though. There was plenty of times when cover did its job, but when it doesn't do its job, I just lose. So, Alright, last try, and then I'll go get some stuff. Because, like, the issue is cover has to work. If cover doesn't work, I'm dead. Because I can't I only have like one phoenix down too, like, one thing I could do to make this a lot easier is go get like at least two phoenix downs, <laughs> like anything besides what I have would be good. Okay, just start off the fight double hitting cloud, that's fine. See that's the kind of crap that can't happen. You can't just be like, cloud's dead, alright now start the fight. Like I didn't even get a turn before that happened, he just literally started off the fight by killing cloud. I could actually salvage this. Okay, never mind. He's gonna double thunder. That is like the most ridiculous start I've ever seen. He double hit Cloud and then double thunder at Yuffie right off the bat. That's pretty. That's pretty mean. That is not nice. Yo, James Gusbin with the seven dollars seventy-seven cent donation. Thank you so much. Phone fingers in the chat for that great donation. 777s seven, seven, for luck, you can do it, Death. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that a lot. I'm gonna go back to the old Cosmic game and get some much needed supplies. If I could get an HP plus on Red 13 and Yuffie, it would mean that both of them could survive an attack, and then I wouldn't even need cover to go off, and this would be a thousand times easier. So yeah, we're definitely we're definitely killing this guy right now. I'm not leaving without killing lost number. Because if I have a chance to do it, then I'm doing it. The only way I'm walking past anything is if like there's absolutely no chance. And I definitely have a chance. So this is happening. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen hot. So while we're uh, doing a little bit of grinding and going back to Cosmo Canyon to buy stuff, um, I thought we'd uh, have a little discussion some kind of discussion thing. We last month. Okay, that's mean. Freaking hit everyone for MP damage. That's pretty garbage. How much life does this thing have? Goodness. I forgot that random battles are like ridiculous in this. Come on. Um. I don't think big guard's really gonna help. I like. 
I, I don't like Big Guard that much. I really don't. Like, we get Barrier in literally right after Mountain Hill. And with HP plus Materia, I can survive. And I have to keep casting Big Guard over and over again. I mean, it, it would help, but it's just not like, I don't think I need it. <coughs> and I don't have Manipulate. <coughs> so I don't even know how to get Big Guard without Manipulate. You have to like confuse him or something? Because I, I never get it. I'm like such an enemy skill noob. I never get enemy skills. I almost always just figure out a way to do it without it. So, anyways, um, um, last time, last uh, week, we talked about that. Uh, um, where's the in here? sleep at the end. Oh, here we go. Um, we talked about the best video games list that was on Wiki, and uh, I got a lot of comments on YouTube saying that they enjoyed that, so I thought I'd come up with something else this week to talk about. Um, I didn't come up with a game list or anything, but uh, I thought what might be cool is to do kind of like an AMA thing, um, uh, ask me anything type deal where you can uh, ask questions about me, the stream, you know life, whatever it is you want to ask about. Um, keep it positive. I try to keep a, a positive stream. I don't need to go too deep in anything dark and mysterious. Um, and keep it PG, because I try to keep this a PG stream. But other than that, uh, feel free to ask any questions you'd like. Um, it can be about me, any, any random thing you want. Um, or the stream, or just random questions, or whatever it is. Whatever you see fit, and I'll do my best to answer it just for fun. Uh, the Materia store is... Puganagan's just hanging out. What is the meaning of life? I read, I read something the other day. Do I have another? I think I have another weapon I need to buy, but... I don't think I have enough gil to buy a HP plus materia. I don't remember how expensive they are. I want to say they're like three or four thousand. I read something the other day what the meaning of life was, and I liked it, but I forget what it said. I'll have to find it. Oh god, it's freaking eight thousand. Goodness. Well. In the interest of not sitting here all day trying to get lucky with cover, we will grind to try to get at least one HP plus materia. If I can get one, I'd be happy. Like, if I could give it to Red 13, then we can just hope he doesn't attack Yuffie. Because he has two attacks. He has Thundara, and then he has his physical attack, and he can double attack with either of them. So, um, as long as he doesn't double attack or use his physical attack on Yuffie, um, we should be good. Like, that that's a luck that I'm willing to go with, but th the luck that I'm going with right now is, like, he has to only attack Cloud or Cover has to go off, which is not very good luck. If you had to kill one Final Fantasy VII character, how would you lure Bugenhagen into the alleyway? <laughs> I would not kill Bugenhagen. He's a nice guy. Plus, he already dies. Rip. Spoilers. What are your top five gaming achievements? Someone asked me that um, a couple episodes ago, and I forgot to answer it. I like, well, I, I told him I wasn't sure. And then I went to go to the bathroom, and then I came back and I forgot that he asked it. Um, but top five makes it a little easier, because I can't really come up with a, with a best gaming achievement. Like, there's, I've just been gaming for too long, like, and there's been so many different unique things I've done. But a top five, I might be able to come close. Um, 
the, uh, some of the Deathless Meat Boy stuff I've done, um, I worked really hard on, uh, but I haven't done the hardest stuff yet, but whenever, if I do ever finish that, that will be a big game for me. Um, my world record run in Dishonored was a big achievement for me, it took a lot of work, and it was something that I didn't think I could do. Um, which, speaking of which, someone finally beat it. Um, uh, the nice guy Dom beat it. The guy that was running it with me uh, finally beat it. So now I have to decide if I want to jump back on the Dishonored train and try to beat his time. I haven't watched his run yet, so I need to watch it and decide if it's something that I want to um, attempt. Um, what else? Uh, the Final Fantasy X NSG at SNO Challenge, I remember being a big struggle and I was really happy when it was done. Um, the, the level, uh, I think, if I had to pick right now, without really like going back and looking at everything I've ever done, if I had to pick one thing that I think might be my biggest achievement, it would be the level one, um, Cloud vs. Ruby Weapon video that I just posted like two weeks ago. Um, it's not that it's necessarily difficult. Any of you guys could do it. Like I said, if you can count to 11, I think it was 11 or 14 or whatever it was. Uh, if you can count, you can beat Ruby Weapon. Um, but the reason that I think it's maybe my biggest achievement that I've ever had in gaming is that I've been playing Final Fantasy VII since I was a kid and the game has been completely torn apart by a lot of people. Um, like, there are very, very few games on the planet that have been played through and dissected more than Final Fantasy VII. So, even though I play it a lot and make the tor the tor the tor I can't talk today tutorial videos, and even though I've played it over and over again and, and everything else. Um, I've really just been, like, as everyone is, on the backbone of some of the people that have found all of the glitches and all the different things that have that have been found in this game. Um, okay, th these guys are extremely strong. Holy cow. Um, so, I've never really found anything unique to myself. Like, I've never found anything that I found myself. There's no Death Unites a strat, you know? Like, there's no, like, oh man, this guy Death Unites us, he found this crazy glitch. Because everything's been found. I mean, it, in when you speedrun games, you learn that you can always find new things. Like, even a game that's been played since the beginning of time. Like, I think, um, there was, there was a new strat found not too long ago for Super Mario. For the, the original Mario, not even Super Mario, the original Mario Brothers, um, they found a way to skip the animation of the flag going down the, the pole. Um, and that game has been run forever and played forever and is like every single possible little pixel thing has been found and yet that was just found recently. So you play a game enough, you're always going to find new things. But I never found anything new in Final Fantasy 7. I found little things that maybe no one else knew about, but nothing that was, like, crazy that you could actually use in, like, a challenge or anything like that. Until that level 1 um, Cloud vs. Ruby weapon. As far as I know, nobody has ever used the strat that I used in that video to beat Ruby weapon on level 1. As far as I know, no one has ever used W item in that way to stack a W item and um, Ruby's paralysis wearing off at the right time so that you throw an item, the paralysis wears off, and then you throw a dazer so that Ruby never gets a turn. I've never seen that in any video, um, and as far as I know, I actually found it out. So, and it's actually something that makes something possible. It's not just something like, oh, it works, great. It actually makes some things that weren't possible before possible. It, it makes, um, oh wow, okay. Poison and Silence, both the people that were summoning. Not Yuffie, who don't, wasn't doing anything, but both the people that were summoning. And it took, like, all my MP. Holy cow. Those guys are no joke. 
Um, so yeah, as far as I know, that's like the Death Unites a strat. And I'm, I'm really proud of it that I actually, after all these years of playing this game, I finally found something that's like unique to me. Um, so that's like a big achievement for me, especially because it's my favorite game. And, and, and now I have, like, that's like, I wouldn't say it's like my legacy. Like, I don't think people are going to remember it down the road, but it's just something that I can look at and be like, I did that and I found it out. And if anyone else uses it, I can be like, I found that, you know? So that, that makes me proud, you know? So that, I think that's probably, if I had to pick, that would be like my number one achievement right now. At least in my head. It just happened, so it's still pretty, like, new, but... Alright, I gotta catch up on my chat. Just platinum the first crash. Feel like crying. Congrats. Any plans on after you reach 100 platinums? Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. I, I plan on continuing to do it. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a way to connect with my chat. Um, they're able to donate for games that they want to see played and I get to platinum them which I enjoy doing so it, it's really been a great experience my when I when I started the one the quest for a hundred platinum trophies it was kind of like a test it was like let's see how this goes get to a hundred and then from there I'll decide if I want to continue doing it or not and after doing a couple I can real I realize that it's awesome and everyone enjoys it and so I want to continue doing it even after a hundred um, so yeah well, well I'll just continue doing it Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, beating Motorball in Nightmare Mod might be another. Just because of how ridiculous- Like, that is a true test of man versus machine. Like, how much that game cheated, and I persevered through all of it. Uh, through all the crashes, through all the- the happen to re-equip everything, through the save point randomly appearing. Just all the crazy stuff that happened during that Nightmare Mod. The fact that I, like, persevered and actually completed it. And I only, like, flipped out a couple of times. Uh, that was, that was a big, a big one for me, I think. That's a, that's something I can look back on and be like, I did that pretty great. Oh, God, he did that MP attack. The enemies around here are terrible. They, like, all silence you and do MP damage. So I can't just sit here and like summon and grind really fast. It's like slow and annoying to grind all these enemies. I don't think I can hit him up there, except with Yuffie. Well, Cloud should be able to because he has long range. But he's not for some reason. He keeps missing. Xeno Barrel, thanks for following. I think that's how you pronounce that. Appreciate it. Alright, let me catch up while I kill this thing. Uh, what are your thoughts on Red 13 being voiced in the remake? Well, they're all being voiced, right? And Red 13 does have a voice, so... I mean, yeah, he should be voiced, why not? Fantasy 10 NSG, not just NSG, NSG and SNO. Dishonored, level 1 Cloud Ruby, Super Meat Boy runs. And then, um, I guess the Nightmare Mod. <laughs> the Nightmare Mod Motorball Fight would be my choice for top 5. What's up? I can't leave. Why? The garage won't open. The garage won't open? Nope. Did the breaker? Flip again? Yep, and then I flipped it, and then I went outside, and it still wouldn't work, so I came back in and checked the breaker again, and it's not flipped, and the garage still isn't working. Alright. So, I'm stuck here. I'll go open the garage door. I will. Can't get it. It'll take a second. One thing and it's not working out. At all. Hey, one, two, three, three. Kata? 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 
Thanks for following. Ray Glide also followed. Thanks for following. Appreciate it a lot. Alright, I'll be right back. Ask some questions while I'm going. 